Today we're going to look at all aspects of the Smock Alien Mini AL85 kit. This is an absolute favorite in the office currently. Not only can you remove the battery and thus replace it, which allows you to carry a spare with you so you're not looking for a charging opportunity or halfway through the day or on a night out, the included tank, the TFV8 Baby Beast, is a great sub -ohm tank with, from what we've experienced, long-lasting coils. So let's drill down and have a proper look at this little beauty. How to change the coil in the tank, how to fill it, it's easy, and the vast options on the mod. It's jam-packed with features. Anyway, enough spoilers. Let's take a look. First and foremost, the tank. It's the TFV8 Baby Beast, the little brother of the pre-TPD legislation TFV8 Beast. I think I can see how they came up with a new name. As a result of the TPD legislation, no tank could exceed 2 mil capacity and needed to be top fill. The tank comes in the kit with the pre-installed 0.4 ohm Q2 coil and the 0.6 Q2 in the box. 0.15 and 0.25 ohm M2 coils are also available. In short, the Q2 type being for the taste and depth of flavor and the M2s being for much more vapor production, hence the lower resistances. Having said that, the Q2 coils give a good Good, comfortable amount of cloud themselves. Unless you're looking to win a competition with your vapor production, the Q2s are pretty much perfect. All this complemented with the ability for a wide open draw from the adjustable airflow towards the bottom. If you've owned any tank of a similar design, changing the coil on the TFV8 Baby Beast is exactly how you'd expect. First, unscrew the top and the glass together from the main body of the tank. Then unscrew the installed coil, prime the new coil with a couple of drops of e-liquid to each of the wick holes and allow it to soak in. Finally, screw in the primed new coil and leave it to stand in a full tank for between five and 10 minutes to allow that liquid to fully soak in and saturate the new cotton wick. Speaking of filling, did I say it was easy to fill? The TFV8 Baby Beast has a hinged top fill. No more need to unscrew the top and place it somewhere precariously while you're trying to fill your tank. Simply hold in the safety catch and push the top in an anti-clockwise direction to uncover the filling hole. As the body is fully glass, it's pretty easy to keep an eye on how much you're filling. Just make sure that your liquid is going down the smaller side hole and not straight down the middle, directly into the coil. As you can see, there's a layer of rubber to aid in keeping the liquid from leaking out. So closing back over the top, you do need to press down a little, compressing that rubber slightly to fit back on the cover. The Smock AL85 mod really is packed with features for such a small form factor. The large fire button takes up almost one complete edge, and the OLED screen gives, well, more information than you'll ever need, including how many pulls you've taken. The mod can be locked and unlocked with the standard five quick presses on the fire button, and also by holding down both sides of the dual-sided single button below the display, both ways triggering a confirmation graphic on the screen. Three quick presses will take you into the menu system, using the buttons below to navigate and the long press on the fire button to select. Mode supported are watts, temperature control, or a stored memory configuration. Selecting one of these will then take you to the second of the two levels of mode, where you can select the strength. This can be soft, normal, or hard, which all refer to the speed in which the coil is heated. Soft being a slow, gradual heating, norm being the standard heating speed, and hard delivering an almost instantly heated coil when firing. On from mode in this list is puffs. As well as having the vaping equivalent of a car's tripometer, you can also set a limit for how many pulls you can take before having to reset the counter. Now that's pretty handy if you're looking to cut down on how much you vape. Leaving it to never will remove any limit. And the next level gives you the option to reset the performator or not. Next along in this list is setting, where you can change the screen timeout, the screen lock, screen contrast, and also manually adjust the ohms. This is for if you're using temperature control and not something to be adjusted lightly. If you don't know what it actually means, like me, leave it alone. Last in the list of settings is the ability to put the mod into PC communication mode to install any firmware updates. And finally in this overall list is power. Rather than just locking the mod between vaping sessions, a long press at this stage gives you the option to power down or not. When powered off, the five quick presses of the mod starts it straight back up. Despite the low price of this kit, it's a great setup. With the price in mind, 
pretty much a no-brainer. The mod alone also supports any tank with a 510 connection. However, unlike other kits, this doesn't come with an Ego adapter. It will support any tank with an Ego adapter as well as the 510s, so make sure that you're setting it to fire at the right setting for whatever tank you're putting on it. It is an 85 watt mod at the end of the day. When changing tanks, simply power down the mod and when it starts back up again and you go to fire, it will prompt you to confirm if you want to keep the previous coil settings or adjust for the new one. The quicker way to restart is to simply take out the battery and put it back in again. Yes, the battery. We mentioned you could replace it, didn't we? The AL85 supports the popular 18650 battery type and accessed easily by unscrewing the top slot cover. So that's the Smock Alien Mini AL85 kit. The top fill of the tank really is the easiest out there. The tank itself delivers great flavor and vapor production and the vast ranges of features on the mod. <laughs> what can I say? It's no wonder just why it's so popular here at Vapable HQ. All in all, it's a great setup. As always, links below for everything we've discussed here in this video. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next one.